be very, very careful because if you start having bad habits during peak, then come that first week in January where the volume drops and all these things start to happen, the company is not going to be as relaxed as they are during peak when it comes to discipline. The facts, dates, and events presented in this video are from the member's best recollection and may not be fully accurate. This video is intended for entertainment purposes only. Always consult with your local union about your rights and duties at your workplace. The opinions shared on this video are our own and do not necessarily represent my employer's positions, strategies, or opinions. All views shared are protected under the National Labor Relations Act. What is going on, everybody? So today I have Greg Kerwood out of Local 25 in Boston and Richard Hooker, Principal Officer of 623 in Philadelphia. And we're going to be covering common terminations that happen during peak season. You know, we're walking into peak season right now. We're already in it. And we've been all here. We've been here for like a century. If you collect all of us together <laughs> and put us in this basket of seniority. So we've seen quite a few things happen uh, throughout our years, and we're just trying to share some stories with you so you don't make those mistakes that we've seen happen down the road. So I'm going to throw it to Rich first. Rich, uh, what are some things you've seen happen uh, during peak season? Well, I would just, you know, let everybody know, especially our package car drivers, be careful on how you treat your helper. Be careful what you say, uh, what you do. Make sure that you keep them safe. Make sure they're following all safety protocols down to the T because you don't want to get in a situation where you forget to tell them something. You try to, you know, miss a step or, you know, uh, try to hurry up and you do something that you shouldn't do. Then it causes harm for the helper and yourself. Um, and, and, you, and you don't want to get into bad habits because you do have a helper. Oh, well, I could, you know, take more packages or I could do this and I could do that. Be very, very careful because if you start having bad habits during peak, then come that first week in January where the volume drops and all these things start to happen, the company is not going to be as relaxed as they are during peak when it comes to discipline. Right now, oh, we need everybody. We got to get this you know, these these holiday deliveries done. Well, come January, they don't care anything about, you know, you trying to help the, you know, uh, the company and this, that, and the other. All they care about is, man, we got all these people, not enough packages. So who are they going to cut? They're going to start cutting our members. So be careful with the helper, you know, be respectful. Um, make sure that you keep them safe and yourself safe, because if not, they're going to come and get you. All right. So, Greg, when it comes to peak season and terminations, what do you see that usually happens? Well, I think the biggest mistake that people make is, uh, and not without some assistance from the company, is thinking that uh, somehow the rules go out the window uh, during peak, uh, that everybody's just expected to start skipping their lunch, uh, running and gunning packages, not following the methods, uh, driving faster. Uh, you know, jumping over snow banks, uh, you know, skipping through lawns, whatever it is. Um, the, the, the biggest thing that I've seen in, in my time, usually from that, uh, ends up being accidents, um, unreported accidents, accidents from behavior that uh, drivers wouldn't do uh, normally during the course of the year. Um, you just got to be careful, folks. It's not, nothing is different. Nothing changes. It's the same rules, the same methods. Uh, it doesn't matter how many stops they put on your car. You do the best you can. You work safe. It's that simple. Um, beyond that, uh, I would say, uh, you know, just to piggyback on what Rich said, uh, if the, the rumors that turn out to be true, uh, and this is one of those light peaks that we have from time to time, um, I would say that the company's tolerance for uh, different behavior is going to end uh, long before January, uh, probably the first week of December or so, uh, which is all the more reason not to change your behaviors and keep on following the methods and doing what you're supposed to do 
all the way through. Absolutely. And, you know, a lot of what they're getting at is dishonesty, you know, signing for people's packages, going to those Amazon lockers and leaving all the boxes outside the Amazon lockers, cutting corners in general. You really can't cut corners here because believe me, the company has the resources to find these things out. And if they have to cut people out, like uh, Greg just said, and Rich just said, uh, you're giving him ammunition for an easy case. Uh, the other thing I wanted to piggyback on with the helpers, be be respectful to your helpers, be proper, be professional to your helpers. Don't uh, do anything that uh, you wouldn't do with other people around, for instance. So oftentimes I hear this all the time. I talk to a lot of people around the nation and just about every local has a situation where a driver ends up hooking up with the helper and someone's heart gets broken or blackmail ensues or whatever and that driver gets jammed up and gets fired so you know just to make you well aware just be professional to your helpers at all times so if anybody here has a story of terminations that happen during peak season leave it down below in the description i'd love to hear it also this is going to be uh, the last video we're going to do for a period of time. Um, you know, during peak season, things get crazy busy, and I'm going to take a little break anyways. If you have not done so already, check out 623 Lives Matter, Facebook, Instagram, all social medias, and the 401k page. Greg Kerwood runs it on Facebook, and the Teamster Media Hub actually... When you go to the Teamster Media Hub, be sure you check out uh, Danny Arlen's show, um, the bi-weekly grievance show. Greg and I was on it uh, this week uh, talking about the TDU conference. So with that being said, we're going to go into the shout outs. Now, Rich, shout outs. Who do you want to shout out tonight? Shout out to all the veterans. I mean, happy Veterans Day. Shout out to my favorite and number one veteran, my father. I uh, served this country for over 20 plus years. Most of that time in Fort Bragg, down in the greatest state in the world, North Carolina. And also just a, another shout out, if I can, to our Greyhound members. Um, it looks like, you know, we, we may be going out here. Um, the plan is to, to go out on the busiest travel day um, in the season, which is Thanksgiving weekend. But again, it's up to the company. So we'll see what happens. So shout out to the veterans. Shout out to um, our Greyhound workers here at 623. Greg, shout out. Who are you going to shout out tonight? My shout out is going to go to the uh, SAG After folks uh, who finally reached an agreement. Um, as you mentioned, you and I were at the TDU convention last weekend. Uh, Lindsay Doherty from the IBT was there. Uh, she heads the movie division and she talked at length. Uh, about the struggles of uh, not only the, the sag after members, but also our Teamster members who are part of the movie division uh, and what these folks were going through and how what it took to be out for, I think, over four months they had been out um, and how they, uh, you know, were struggling to keep it together, but we're still fighting the fight. Uh, they've gotten their agreement. I don't know, uh, good, bad or otherwise, but I'm assuming it's pretty decent. Um, so my hat is off to them and all the folks affected by that strike who stood strong with them, including our teams and members. And I want to give a quick shout out to the, all the members we ran into and talked to at the TDU conference. You guys were awesome. It was a really good vibe. I really enjoyed it. So, um, you know, and I think, uh, I think Greg would agree with me on that. So, um, aside from that, that's all I got. Love you guys. And I'll see you next time.